Predictions are that year on year, the world is getting hotter and hotter. According to Leslie Smith, National Ozone Officer in the Ministry of Climate Resilience, the Environment and Renewable Energy, 2023 has been recorded as the hottest year, while April 2024 was the hottest April on record. Smith said increased global atmospheric temperatures can result in serious implications. For example, there is a need now for increased comfort cooling, the need for us to install more air conditioners. And this has further implication now on power generation in terms of uh, the utility grant like being able to provide this additional power to power these electrical appliances like our ACs. And so Greenlake are registering increased peak demand for electricity. Bearing in mind that our electricity is generated from diesel, it means that the emissions that are resulting from this generation is even higher, contributing more greenhouse gases to our atmosphere and thereby increasing our temperatures further. In addition to increased power generation, human health, the environment, as well as productivity levels in the workplace are also impacted. The whole environment, as I was mentioning earlier, um, this high ambient temperature is affecting our indoor environment. So it makes it uncomfortable for us who are working indoors if we don't have comfort cooling. And so our environment is compromised because now we are pumping more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere by the electricity that is generated. Um, our environment is compromised. So we see the impacts of droughts, water shortages as we have now. Um, it can also result in other adverse weather conditions who knows what will happen in the hurricane season. We know for a fact that when it's hot like this, it creates an enabling environment for um, very severe storms and hurricanes. As individuals capitalize on a cooling mechanism through the use of electric fans and air conditioning units, their electricity bills are likely to reflect increases. The expectation is that you will see a bump in your electricity bill, especially for persons who are now operating fans for a longer period of time and air conditioners. You would also see um, in commercial entities, in, in offices and so on, you would expect that because the higher the ambient temperature, the greater the demand for electricity for these appliances. And then the need for comfort cooling is increased. More and more people are installing air conditioners in their, in their households now. And so Greenlock is already registering increased peak demand for electricity. And so that is the expectation. In addition to that, because of what is happening uh, geopolitically, globally, um, oil prices are high, and that is a direct reflection on oil electricity bill because it's a pass-through. And so the expectation, again, is increased electricity bills um, during this period of time. Ozone officer added that the drought-like conditions and the extreme dry spells experienced is partially the result of climate change and human-induced climate change resulting from the excessive amount of greenhouse gases emitted into the atmosphere. He offered a few recommendations. So we need to decarbonize most of the things that we do. We need to um, introduce renewable energy more into our electricity generation. We need to look at how we can solarize our homes. So government is providing incentives to do that to the, to the tune that um, all solar PV components now attract 100% concessions. Um, there are energy efficiency measures that government is also promoting. But we still need to make these types of technologies more affordable to people. How we can bring the cost down, how we can uh, increase the capacity of our local people to do proper installations and how we can educate our people in terms of energy conservation, making the right choices in terms of equipment selection, how they, they set the thermostats for their condition, how they manage their refrigerators, et cetera. Christina John, GBN News.